And welcome back everyone to episode 17 of Let's Play Pikmin. New play control or whatever. Um, this is probably going to be our last day. We might actually have to take another day to, um, pick up the last treasure, but, um, that depends how well I do. So, Blue Onion, we don't need you. You can take the day off. You guys have been working so hard, yeah, especially with the distant spring. We don't need you. And that's because this boss is like a one-hit kill or whatever. From what I understand, it's supposed to be that um, yellow Pokemon, Pikmin are all the around the weakest, but they can jump the highest and they can throw bomb rocks. They can, in theory, output the most damage. Red Pikmin do 1.5 damage, but they have like 0.75 endurance or something. I'm playing this out my ass, but um, I don't actually remember exactly. Or if I even ever knew. Look, there will be casualties. Only five casualties. That is a startling amount of reds. Of reds? No. Well, also reds, I guess. But, more specifically, um, leaves. But I think I saw... Yep. Some nectar. Interesting. You come with me. And welcome everyone to the final boss of Pikmin 1, the Emperor Bullblax. So what? Oh. So how you want to deal with this boss is he will either butt stomp like he did, um, lick at you with his tongue, or um, you know, I think that's all it does. But you can tell, oh, interestingly enough, how his mood is. You know, mood center for the final boss. Depending... Oh, he didn't need it. On... So if he's salivating... That means... That, um... He's particularly hungry at that moment. Yo, buddy. That's okay. So you just basically want to do this strategy where you um, might have um, a yellow Pikmin with a bomb get thrown into its mouth and um, throw a red Pikmin onto its cheeks. Honestly, a really easy final boss. But again, this game's been more about the concept than anything, hasn't it? Okay, good. I was worried for a second that the explosion might protrude out of its mouth and kill the Red Pikmin.
Do that. Do that. Wonderful commentary, man. So as I was saying a while ago, he does have like some sort of mood sensor? Not mood sensor. What the? Okay. I don't think I've ever actually seen him do a jump like that. And with that, Pikmin has been defeated. At long last, I found the final part, my secret safe, and it's as full as ever. How glad I am that I persisted in my search without losing hope. Now I can leave this planet without any regrets. Maybe I'll even stop by and pick up some souvenirs for my wife and kids back on planet Hawkatate. Feels good. It feels so great to finally finish a let's play that you've been doing for quite a long time. Heck, this has been since last summer, so this has been like four months. So I guess I should actually start doing the final words, even though this isn't the final episode of Pikmin. It's the final episode of Pikmin the Let's Play. Next we have Pikmin 2, Electric Boogaloo. The, um, challenge mode, I guess. Which is like three or four. It's gonna be like three or four more episodes of Pikmin and then we're pretty much done with it. Unless we want to do like an RNG of it. Because random multiplayer game isn't necessarily um, PvP sort of stuff. It could be co-op. It could be like well, co-op with um, me and Michael or someone else doing um, the challenge mode two-player mode because I'm pretty sure there's a two-player mode of it. There's actually probably not. There's, I don't think there'd be a second captain. Would be. I finally recovered every ship part. Now I can return home to Hakatate. And with that, we see a rocket ship in its full glory. Indeed, Almar. <laughs> it's bittersweet, honestly. Thank you. Oh, they don't understand we're leaving permanently. Or maybe they're actually waving at us. I just say I'm so glad that I played this game. It's a phenomenal game and it spawned a phenomenal series. <laughs> and now they're attacking the bull bar by, its, by themselves. So I guess if there's one good thing that they, they did for us is they s basically saved us. If it's one good thing we did for them, is that we? Oh, I forgot the end. I forgot the ending of this. Um, we actually help them survive on the ground because now they know to attack stuff by themselves. And now we're being followed by so many different colored onions, and none of them have appeared in any of the other games, sort of. Da, 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 da. Also, I think this is the first time we can actually see that, um, well, goodbye, dolphin. 
You have literally like two seconds in the next game. With this, for 30 parts, it took us 18 days. And this is exactly the same amount of time. Surviving Pikmin 4 or 9. Versus my 557 on the one I've beaten. And we've lost this Pikmin somehow. Even though we lost so many. It's because um, Surviving Pikmin's so high for my last game. Because um, I didn't lose 150 Pikmin to the Smoky Prog. But that means I did worse overall. Usually. Total Pikmin ever sprouted. 29 is 69. They expect you to replay this game a lot. If they expect you to get to 10 million. And here we have a list of every part. We have the main engine, positron generator, internal fuel dynamo, extraordinary bolt, whimsical raider, Geiger counter, radiation canopy, Secretarius, shock absorber, automatic gear, number one ionium jet, non dioxon shell, I think it was called. Omega Stabilizer, Gravity Jumper, Analog Computer, um, Guard Satellite, Libra, Repair Type Bolt, Blue One Driver, Zirconium Rotor, Intercell Radio, Pilot Seat, Number 2 IM Jet, Bowsprit, and the Chronos Reactor. And as for stuff that's not necessary, we have the Nova Blaster Splay Space Float, Massage Machine, UV Lamp, and the Secret Safe. the credits. And it's on the earth no one no matter. Water. You will be missed, especially you by because still a lot of Let's players are still gonna be doing games you directed or executive produced. Also isn't hasn't Miyamoto left Nintendo or isn't he like not doing games anymore? Because I seem to remember you said that Star Fox Zero would be his last game. game exist or I mean because technically on a CD isn't that technically a ROM on a CD like you buy a game you're technically buying the ROM for the game but it's not on the computer ah uh, Super Mario Club how you'll be missed I'll be honest I don't really like the new Nintendo stuff they did Nintendo stuff the basically new Super Mario Club So thank you, Super Mario Club, for basically. That's a mechanic, isn't it? Oh. Are we Cannon Beetle? This migrant with the pod has developed a strong carapace and its relatives. Oh. Beetle long legs. Waxy secretions from this creature's distinctive armored shell. A form. Bird bug. This creature's thick hide protects its from uh, most attackers. It's uh, you guys. Burring snagret. The bluish hue of its feathers distinguishes it from the burring snarl. Something you've never seen. Candy pop bug. Could this be the next step in Pikmin evolution? Like the Pikmin themselves, it has many mysteries. 
and I think these are all my enemies. Dwarf Bull Bear. Uh, Bull Bill at its early stage of development in its life cycle, this specimen appears to be nearly fully developed. Dwarf Bull Warb. Although similar in appearance to Bull Warbs, these belong to a totally different spe species. In fact, they would belong to the Bread Bread species. Emperor Bull Blacks. This massive grub dog buries itself when hunting. I know I was hunting. Fiery Blowhog. This creature expels a combustible phosphor that ignites at moderate temperatures. Swooping Snitch Bug. This rare species uses antennae as wings. You are an enemy that appears in the impact site. Helix. Water age giant and his memory protects this creature's nervous system. Actually, we might fight them in challenge mode, hopefully. Okay, if you appear on a, it's either an odd or an even day, this or that or another enemy will spawn in the impact site. This creature collects nectar for the larvae waiting in its nest. You, I think we only experienced once in the impact site. Iridescent flint beetle. This forager stores undigested pellets in its stomach for winter. You are also appear at the English God. Appear at the impact site on either odd or even days. This creature seems fond of flowers, but only for the decorative per properties. Most people are like that. Aww. Pearly clam clam. Though beautiful, the smallest pearls are thin and fragile. And the OG Pillow Posey. This sparsely growing plant is able to crystallize nectar into round pellets. Puffsu. Many consider this walking fungus a delicacy. I don't know who these many are. I'm almost the only person who's visited this plant to a knowledge. Puffy Blowhog. Instead of breathing fire, this species uses hydrogen to float. I probably want to switch to healing, but it's a bit volatile. Sheer grub. Males of this species are purple and have an armored head. And are also the only ones that could eat. <coughs> Sheerwig. Males of the species are able to fly, but the females remain underground. Another enemy we have not seen. Female Sheerwigs. You. Smoky Prog. Thought to be a malformed larval Momuto. I guess because we broke it open. Body bull bear. This rare subspecies of bull bear has a certain indefatigability. Basically, I said that wrong, but it means that it doesn't get tired. It's body bull bear. This nocturnal hunter feeds mostly on small animals returning to the nest at night. Water dumple. This aquatic creature is a close relative of the bull bear. Wog pole. This creature appears to be a newborn yellow wally wagon tackle form. Did we ever attack any of them? Wally wog. This creature's coloration results from remaining sheltered in its cavernous form, which is a forest name. Yellow wally wog. After evolution led to the development of a specialized jumping ability, this infamy actually lost much of its ability soon. And now that I think about it, they're not called Wallywogs in like the British version? Because apparently Wog is like an um defamation? No, an insult? Defamation. Well maybe it is, I don't know. I don't even I'm probably saying that wrong word that word wrong. The happy end. I think that's actually specific to this um, version. Duh. So with that, we have now. 
Oh wow, look at the difference. So many red Pikmin compared to mine. Well, we have completed the game. So once I eventually get to the special stuff, which is where Warframe is sitting, we will be doing challenge mode. It's a single day challenge mode. How many Pikmin can you grow in a day? Impact site, force of hope, force enable, desistance ring, and the final trial. So there are five more episodes coming from Pikmin. Hope you're ready. But it'll be a while. So, I guess, t even though I, it's only been up for like two hours or something, I guess I better see what the um, results are for the next Let's Play. So, next episode will be whatever that next Let's Play is. By the way, it's probably going to be Dead Space. See you then! And see you in... Yeah, okay. Pluck a Pikmin sprout. How about we know, Alamar? So, if you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. See ya!